Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you every single gun location in Area 51. Uh, all the guns in my inventory I will be showing you, except there are a few guns I just need to make sure you know you cannot find. So, the MG42 is a game pass, you can't really get it underground in Area 51, so that you can't get uh, unless you buy it. Um, also, the freeze gun as well, that's like the only- these are the only two guns that you cannot get unless you have the game passes. I will be assuming that you do not have the VIP game pass and that you need to find all of these guns. And so, all 17 gun locations I will be showing you from spawn and dropping down and going to each gun individually just for you. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe. I do a lot of videos on this game and I do many other guides and have a lot of other guides on this game. So I recommend you subscribe. Thank you if you do. And let's get going to the first weapon. Alrighty, everyone. I will be showing you our first gun. It is the MP5K. And the spot this gun is in might be interesting to you if you've played this game before. But this is a really, really nice gun. It shoots pretty quickly. Uh, it is a machine gun. And it's also really tiny. More accurate than most machine guns. But let's go show you guys where this gun is located. So you want to drop down every time I show a gun, I'm going to drop down. Also remove it from my inventory so I can't use my guns on, you know, any killers since I quote unquote don't have VIP. Uh, I just want to make, sh make sure it's fair that you guys know how to get past these guys. Um, so first off, what we got to do is we got to go all the way across this elevator past Jason. Jason does spawn over here. Uh, open this door. If you really need to close it, close it. I think I do. And we're going to bring the elevator down. There's an elevator here now. For many people, this is a new update. You, if many people don't know that there's an elevator here. But yeah, the obby's gone for Raygun, unfortunately. Here's the MP5K. And this is its spot. Let's move on to the next gun. The M1014 is our next gun that I will be covering. This is a shotgun that shoots like this. It also looks pretty good. Um... Let's drop down and show you guys exactly where this gun is located. So instead of going straight, you want to go right. And you'll, you'll bring up the elevator most likely. If the elevators are here, just go in. But this is the second elevator gun. And you want to drop down. Uh, this is one of the easiest guns to get, apparently, because there are not many killers down here. Uh, no killers actually spawn down here. That You can find killers down here, I'm just saying. But usually, no. Uh, you go through here. Do not go down food supply. Go right. Then you want to go right again, and then you want to go left, and here's the M1014. You'll know that it is the M1014 because it's right near the sewer water in the vent, right over here. Our next weapon is the Deagle, or the Desert Eagle. This gun is a pistol, and it shoots uh, pretty fast, actually. Um, a better version of the M1911, which I'll show later in the video. And let's show you guys how to get this gun. So let's drop down. Put it in inventory and let's go. So what you got to do is you got to go straight this time, except you got to go near this counter, go across from it, and then open this door if it's, you know, open, if it's closed. And then go through the rake. Rake can spawn here, by the way. So there is a killer that can spawn here. Go left. When you see voltage, go left down to the prison area and you'll see it on your left. The deagle is right here and this is where you can get your own desert eagle next gun is the r870 this is a shotgun that shoots a little more slowly but it is a pretty powerful gun up close let's drop down and put this in our inventory okay so to get the r870 you're gonna go straight up here also avoid any killers you see um and you gotta go left um this is the first uh, gun that passes the radioactive zone you gotta go right uh, and then you'll go up these stairs and then up the second flight of the stairs taking a left taking a left and then at this way end of the room, this yellow room, you'll find your R870. AN94 is the first new weapon that I will be covering in this video. This is one of the newest guns added to the game. It's a very fast machine gun. It shoots very quickly. Let's go show you how to get it. So we got to drop down all the way. And then you're going to go all the way straight. And this is very similar to the R870, actually. Uh, we, got, we have to deal with Pinhead here. Uh, oh, he, he used his spikes on me, but we're all good. Um, ghost face, we're getting a lot of chaos, but you want to go up these stairs, go left, just like with the R870, um, and then you want to open it, this door right here. There's an orange button that can open the door. 
uh, on this little drink machine, and there you go. The AN-94 can be all yours. The next gun is the M4A1. It is also a machine gun, and it shoots pretty, pretty fast as well. Uh, compared to most guns, and I also love this gun personally. Let's drop down and show you where the location of this weapon is. Alrighty, so the weapon location for the M4A1, you start off by going straight, and of course left again. I'm covering all the guns over here. Um, so you gotta go up this first flight of stairs like usual, um, and then you gotta go left, avoid Freddy. Um, also avoid Leatherface. Um, Try not to die. Uh, so you gotta go in the cafeteria, that's where Anne is. You gotta go all the way back to here. Close the door if you want. Uh, there's Granny. Not good to see her. She dropped her trap. Uh, and the fan is rotating, so sometimes the fan is on. We need to turn this off. So to get this gun, we need to go to the acid area and we're gonna lose some health. But it's all worth it, because we shut off the fan to get Granny. So now we're gonna go into the vent, get the gun, and... Just as a little bonus, let's shoot Granny for interrupting this guide. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The next weapon I will be covering is the M14. This gun is probably one of the worst guns in the game, but it does work and it is still a pretty useful gun at times. So I'll be showing you guys this gun's location. Let's take it away and drop down. Alrighty, so as per usual, we're gonna be going in the same area. Um, we're gonna be going left. And then we're gonna be going up the stairs again. Um, we got Michael here, he's being quite mean. Okay, we avoided Michael, uh, Michael Myers, and we're gonna go up here. Instead of going up the stairs, we're actually gonna go straight. Um, make sure to like not open these doors, there could be killers. Um, and here's the M14 right over here. A pretty simple spot for a pretty simple gun. The AK-47 is quite a popular gun. Uh, it is a machine gun, not as popular in, the Air, in Air 51 though. Uh, Here's what it sounds like, and let's go get it. So, to get the AK-47, you're gonna wanna walk straight, not into Slender though. Slender's probably one of the worst killers we can run into. Um, luckily we got by, so he went after someone else. Instead of going straight though, you wanna go through the counter, just like the Deagle. You're gonna go right over here, and then you're gonna go down these stairs. Do not go left this time at the voltage. You're gonna go right, and this is gonna lead down to the sewers. Uh, so. Over here, if you go left, there's a paper, and it will tell you actually the code. That is 1947 for the AK-47, so that is the code. We're gonna go right over here in this little tube sewer room, and we're gonna go right over this plank, and hopefully there's no small dog. Small dog spawns, spawns there, just for further information. 1947, green light, and there we go. We got the AK-47, that is how you get this gun. The M16A2 is arguably one of the most popular guns. It shoots like this, but if you press the F key on computer or like swirl key um, on phone, you can actually switch to a second mode, which is a burst mode. And then your third mode is actually an explosive, which is the M203. So it's M16A2 and M203. It's just like the only gun that does this. Let's go drop down. The AN-94, by the way, does have a burst mode. It's just not as, like, you know, efficient. It's not an actual entirely new weapon. So you could go down this way into the sewer. I'm going to avoid it because Rake is right there. So we're going to go straight, and we're actually going to go toward the Slender Cage. We're going to go right here, and over here on this left doorway, not this one, but this one right here, we're going to drop down into this janitor room, and we're going to go down the ladder. And now we are down over here there's captain zombie we do not want to say hi to him and over near these rusted bars you can actually slip through be careful because the fan can kill you just like it can kill killers and this is the m16a2 the op is the next weapon and is my personal favorite weapon it shoots like this it is a sniper rifle and also brights up whenever you shoot let's go show you where this amazing weapon is in my opinion so what you want to do is you want to drop down as normal and then go straight or you can go down through the sewers um but go straight i think it's much safer uh it's looking like slender might have just killed someone behind me but yeah go straight go right and you're gonna go over toward the sewer entrance which is on the left right over here uh here's someone with the ray gun someone killed smile dog pretty uh pretty nice thank you to them uh what you want to do though is go through this entrance so you gotta go up these stairs and go through and you'll see a tube. If this tube is closed, you can open it with this button. 
Uh, it's open for me, luckily. Also, you can pass the broken door, go up these stairs, and voila, you have the up. You can now shoot people with my favorite gun, or at least shoot killers. The G36C is another machine gun. It shoots like this. And let's drop down and go grab the G36C. So, to get to the G360, we're gonna go straight all the way down to the slender cage, and then we're gonna take a right. So when you take a right, you're, you might experience some killers like I am right now. Also the robot, if you do see killers down in that hall, be free to just bring them out here and then group them up and then shut the door on your way in. Now they can't really get me. They'll go after someone else most likely. So you can see the G36C is open, but let's just close it and I'll show you guys how to open the door in case it's actually closed. So close it. Uh, so when you wanna drop down, if it's closed, you drop down over here any of these four, and you're gonna go toward the office. Looks like Tails Doll, though, is right here, so we're just gonna make him fall down. Alrighty, so we made Tails Doll fall down. I fell down in the pit, but it's okay, because the pit doesn't kill. You're gonna go toward the office, and then you're gonna go in this secondary office, and there's a card. You're gonna grab the card, and then you're going to climb again for the G36C, um, like this and then you're gonna slide the card open and there you go we have our g36c the svd is also another amazing sniper rifle it shoots like this and you can grab this weapon uh, it's also one of the easier weapons to get too so it is a very overpowered weapon that is not as hard as you think to get so you want to drop down and let's go straight so it looks like we got Jason and Chucky to worry about. We're gonna go straight, but instead of going straight or left, we're actually gonna go right into this cargo area. And Jeff does spawn like right here, so just be careful, hurt slender. But basically, the SVD is behind these boxes. Oh, it looks like Jane is too. Jane's pretty nice, by the way. She doesn't kill. Um, if you're new to the game, uh, go behind these boxes and you'll see at the end, there is a little spot where you can actually just squeeze right in and grab the SVD. This is the SVD location, one of the more secret ones, but I particularly love it. This next weapon, the ray gun, is one of, if not the most powerful weapons in the game. I'm gonna be showing you where this gun is. I saved it for one of the last, just because of how powerful it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this little reward if you've been watching for long. Thank you so much for watching. Let's drop down and show you where the ray gun is. So it's no longer in the elevator parkour as I stated previously in the video. It is now in the radioactive area. So you want to go left and you got to go into the radioactive area. You can grab the radioactive suit, zombie suit. It's in the game pass hanger, but that is where it is. Okay, so we got a suit, we got a zombie here, and we also got a zombie down here. So uh, that's not good. Uh, we almost died to him, but we got our ray gun. The ray gun is down at the end of this hall. And now that we have the ray gun, we can say goodbye to these zombies. P90 is the second newest gun added to classic mode in Surviving Kill the Killers in Area 51. This is a machine gun. This is what it shoots like. Pretty fast. Um, but yeah, let's go show you where this gun is located. So you want to drop down as usual, as I've been showing you all video. You're going to go straight though. And you're going to, instead of taking any rights or lefts down there, we're actually gonna go left of the Slender Cage and over to the alien expansion where Wendigo is. That is Wendigo, we gotta avoid her, but we wanna go left over here. So when you get to this staff only door, go left and avoid Wendigo. Oh my Wendigo. Uh, we're gonna go down to the laboratory and we are going to go through this front door. So there are like these little blue doors. It, no guns are over there, just this door right here. Uh, Wendigo is after me. Okay, let's shut the door, let's stop her. From attacking me. Also, we got Johnny over there, or Jack Torrance. At the end of this hall, Jack Torrance spawns here. At the end of this hall, you can find the P90, one of the newest guns in the game. The DB shotgun, or the double barrel shotgun, is one of the most overpowered shotguns in the game, but it's only overpowered up close. It has two shots, and they are both lethal shots. It also um, has like a little effect whenever you shoot it. But yeah, this is the DB shotgun. Let's show you. This is one of the newest guns added to classic mode as well. Yo, all the killers. So what you want to do is go through here in the center area. Avoid Wendigo by possibly jumping up. And it's in the staff only uh, area. 
So as you can see, if you open this door, oh, Wendigo, that's not good. Go away. Um, you can shut it. Okay, Wendigo's a little, Wendigo's a little scary. But if you open this door, oh, double barrel shotgun is right here. Alrighty, so we are now in kill house mode. You can go and join this by selecting one of the modes. Um, this is at the bottom of the list. And to get these two weapons to spawn with, you can spawn with the crossbow instantly. This crossbow is only available, like, you can only spawn with it. It is not available or as a location in classic mode, as well as the M1 M1 and no longer does. Um, so what you want to do is you want to open this door. If you have a lot of kills, you'll be able to unlock these weapons. So one kill, if you just have one kill, you can have access to the ray gun, M14, Deagle, DB shotgun, all the shotguns. If you have 10 kills, you can have access to all the machine guns and also an explosive, uh, the M203. And then if you have 50 kills, you can access the crossbow, op, and SVD. Um, we will be using, uh, I think I think the, the M16A2 is really useful. We can also just use the ray gun just to really get the job done so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to get the m1911 so it's in this room and to get it you have to earn the badge to knock down all these targets so we want to do is possibly get your ray gun go in first person and just spam it uh, i think the ray guns personally just really really simple if you don't you can use the crossbow you can use a machine gun basically you just got to take out all these killers if you really can't aim for this guy you could explode him uh, there's also one at the all the way at the end. If you can't aim like I can't, then you can just do that. And there, you now have the M M1911. If you get all of those targets knocked down, you'll get the badge and you'll start spawning with this in classic mode. A pretty good advantage. But even though it isn't the most overpowered gun, it is still a good gun to spawn with. The next gun, however, is very difficult. Is the crossbow. This gun is very, very difficult for a lot of people. Um, I know a lot of people struggle on this. I made my own crossbow tutorial. I'll link that in the description. Also, try to put it in the end card. Um, so hopefully you guys can see my strategy at least a year ago. But I'll be showing you guys my strategy currently. Um, so as what I do is I have the crossbow. I have the M203, which is the explosive. Make sure it's in the explosive one. You can do this by switching. Uh, and I also have the P90. You can also use the AK-47 as well. Like, it, it doesn't matter. You can use the AK or the P90. I use either, so both work, but I like the P90. So I'll just get rid of the AK. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a bear take on the crossbow. Let's just, just mess around. I haven't played the kill house in a bit. Let's do this, guys. We're gonna get all of them. So make sure to hit all of your targets to get crossbow and pass. So we're gonna take this a little more slowly. Uh, well, by falling off, maybe, um, but yeah. Um, what you want to do is just continue. Remember, you have to hit within 45 seconds. So hopefully we'll be able to catch up on that time we lost. Um, but yeah, uh, so here we go. Hit that. Oh my, these targets are not being kind to me right now. Um, I don't know if we're going to hit it, but I think we did. Hopefully we did. Um... But yeah, uh, we oh we might I think we're gonna hit it in time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was a horrible run for my standards. Like I usually get like 27 or like 28, but yeah, um, you can still do it if you make mistakes. But you can, however, if you do fail. Let's say I start and I just like I don't know I can't get by this guy. I can press the reset button and it'll reset it. So that is a really good tip. Um, this takes a lot of practice, guys. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and like the video to show support. I hope to see you in the next one, and I hope this guide was helpful for you.